Okay, FAQ number 101. The question is here, where, why are there animal sacrifices in the millennium? Uh, you'll see that, I think, Zechariah chapter 14 talks about it and a couple other places. And, you know, you, the question comes up, okay, if Jesus Christ is, you know, the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world, He's the perfect sacrifice, why bring back animal sacrifices in that time? Well, I believe it's because of ceremonial reasons. I believe that the Lord has, you know, some things there that He's trying to show ceremonially. Ceremonially. I'll get it out. Um, you know, Jacob is the lot of his inheritance, according to uh, Deuteronomy 32, verse 9. And so the Lord has given specific things, ordinances and things like that, to the Jewish people. Um, and it's, it's there as a remembrance and things like that. I mean, we do communion right now as a remembrance. Uh, it's not a sacrifice that will do anything for you. You can, you know, the Catholics are messed up on that as well as a lot of the other Protestant cults out there that are really just Catholicism renamed. And they will do this this Last Supper thing, they call it the Eucharist or the Mass or, you know, the, the transubstantiation thing. And they say that that's salvation. It's a perpetual thing. Uh, no, it's not. Um, salvation is by faith, by grace through faith in the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross. And, um, but in that millennial kingdom, there's going to be that ceremonial thing there where Jesus Christ is going to be making a clear distinction between the nation of Israel and what everybody else is doing. So I would say that that's the reason why he's going to have those animal sacrifices brought back uh, just to show that he is their, the king, lamb of God. He takes away their sin, but there's that, uh, you know, he, doing it in remembrance of what Jesus Christ did type of a thing there. That's what I believe about that.